I got the horses calmed down and got them, kind of got them reseparated. Normally, Sassy follows me. Um, she didn't move, so I went and looked at her, and that's when I first saw the wounds on her. Um, and my my initial thought, because of the size of the of the puncture hole in her in her lower chest and rib cage, I thought somebody had shot her because um, it looked like a the size of a hole of a deer slug. And I came in and found you know hunted up uh, Monrovia's phone number because I knew they ran a 24-hour uh, emergency service. Called them. And as it got light out and I went back out and looked at her more, I saw the rest of the wounds. And it uh, wasn't until the vet got here and actually probed the wounds that I realized, you know, we saw how deep they were, how severe they were. And uh, she pointed out, at that point you could see, and, and Sassy was a fairly good sized horse. She weighed, in her prime, on a scale, she weighed 1,300 pounds. And you could see right in front of her hindquarters, in front of her hind legs, there were light claw marks. There was a deep puncture wound on her back that went almost all the way into her abdomen. And uh, Dr. Rose believes that the cat got on her back, grabbed on with its rear paws to hold on, and reached around with its front claws like that and ripped upward. Um, and probably at that point, Sassy either either shook the cat off or, you know, no telling what happened.